Tuolumne County is all about natural beauty and year-round activities. You can enjoy these while taking in the breathtaking scenery and fresh mountain air. So for someone who has never been to Tuolumne County or the Stanislaus National Forest, what would you say to them? How would you describe it? I would tell them they're missing out. It's an awesome place. There's a lot of opportunities here, all kinds of adventures to go on and things to explore. The Stanislaus National Forest is made up of three highway corridors, Highway 120, Highway 4, and Highway 108, which we're on right now in Tuolumne County. We have all kinds of lakes, rivers, streams, the forest, all these trees around us. If you could give somebody a uh, word picture, how would you describe Tuolumne County? Extremely beautiful massive trees that are towering over you, pristine lakes, crystal clear waters, abundant wildlife. This is definitely a year-round spot to vacation. You can come up in the summertime and you can hike or bike or camp. You can go swimming or get out on a boat. If you come up in the wintertime, there's snowshoeing, cross-country skiing, skiing, snowboarding, snowmobiling, all kinds of options for folks. A lot of our families will actually join us for interpretive programs in the summertime. Families also take bike rides together. I see lots of families out there riding around. I've seen backpacking groups with the kiddos strapped on with mom and dad, so that's a lot of fun as well. Opportunities in the wintertime. You can come up and build a snowman. That's always pretty simple, even if we don't have very much snow. And it does fluctuate in the wintertime. But you can go sledding. There are different areas uh, that you can come up. There's a nice gentle slope at Pinecrest that you can take off and uh, sled, or you can have a snowball fight. And you can go up to Leland's snow play area and they have tubes where they kind of pull you up the mountain and then you can tube down. Otherwise, you can go to Dodge Ridge and you can ski, snowboard. You can stop by Long Barn on your way up and go ice skating at the rink there. There's lots of options to play in the snow. One thing you want to definitely keep in mind when you're visiting the Stanislaus or really any natural area is whatever you pack in, you want to pack out with you, so your trash. Don't leave any pieces, even that clear fishing line that animals can get tangled up in it or they can munch on it and it makes them really sick and so it's not good for the wildlife. It's very important that we pick up our food for any of the animals that are around. People food's not animal food and uh, our trash is not good for them. We're visiting their home when we're here and you wouldn't go over to your best friend's house and leave your trash in their living room floor. So don't leave it here. Yeah, pack it in, pack it out. What will you see that's different between the changing seasons as far as wildlife and species out here? Um, well, some of the animals kind of head up higher elevation in the summertime because there are a lot of folks visiting us. But in the wintertime, you'll see a variety of birds. We have ospreys and eagles that are almost always out over Pinecrest Lake in the summertime. And if you come to one of our ranger programs, you can kind of find out the difference between the two of them. All the way, like ranging to mountain lions could be up here. You could see those or little bobcats running around. There are bears that live here in the Stanislaus and folks can, can see tons of squirrels and tons of birds hang out at the Deus area in Pinecrest. Pinecrest is the place to make family memories that are gonna last a lifetime. I can't tell you the amount of people that I've talked to that have been coming here because their grandparents brought them here and their grandparents brought them here. Everybody's coming up year after year because it's a family tradition and we're really happy to be a part of that because there are so many different things that you can do here and adventures you can go on. I absolutely love the Santa Slus. It was the first forest that I ever really got a taste of and I fell in love with it and people will talk about the Eastern Sierra or different parts of the Sierra, and there's absolutely nothing like the Stanislaus. There's opportunities unlimited here.